you guys know how much I love and cherish America's Next Top Model. So we're back again reacting to more of the... There's so many videos. There's like 20 seasons. So lots of content for me. It's season four, episode four. It's actually titled The Girl with the Worst Photo in History. One model's photo is deemed the worst in the show's history. Well, that's a stretch seeing as they only have... They had like four seasons. So, I mean, history, it's a little, it's a little much, don't you think? I mean, who are you going to blame the worst photo on? The model or the photographer? Hmm, I guess we'll have to find out. Let's uh, play, play this and g get to it. Let's see what's going on here. Previously on America's Next Top Model, Brit My God, Tyra, do you have to yell every time? Tyra's over here screaming at us before I even say anything. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> How many times have you guys been out in the club and a man is like, what's your sign, girl? You look so fine. What's your sign? How many times? Oh. Negative three. <laughs> Sorry. 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 So, the 12 of you are going to be the signs of the zodiac today. Honey, well, come on out. Oh, beautiful. I was Capricorn, the goat. Can I take attention? Right in the knee. Right in the knee, sweetie. Don't be dead in the hands. Don't just stay like this and just think your expression is going to change. Being a ballerina, I thought Naima would have more grace and movement, but she doesn't have that same pow that she normally does. The girl is literally harnessed up with like 50 wires and you guys want her to do this whole like acrobat thing? <laughs> I love how the photographer seemed to get a little annoyed. She's like, well, don't just stand there. Like how many different poses can you do? Hanging from like 20 wires from the ceiling. Don't answer that. Because maybe you work in the circus. But <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. All that. And I was really scared at first because I like, couldn't really get my balance. Don't worry. We'll just give you a second. Everyone takes a minute. Don't get nervous. <laughs> Don't get nervous as there's like a whole 20 person production team. And like she has like 10 minutes. Like, that. But don't be nervous. It's fine. Sweetie, take your time. Like, look how uncomfortable that looks, too. The harness, how it's... You know the swings for the babies at the playgrounds? It kind of looks like one of those, how she's harnessed then. And you're telling me you're, she's supposed to model like that? Okay. Go into that, and like yours... Now, you're not going to fall off. You need to get much more into the character. You're a lion, like... Rah! In this situation, Noelle did not look like a proud lion. That's because she's not a lion. She's looking straight out at Wizard of Oz, you know, the the lion. I don't know. I don't really like this look. I think it's weird. And then they put them in like the most uncomfortable modeling situation ever. Like they got like a little slab of rock to balance on. I don't know. Just it's it's extra. It's definitely extra. Oh, I love this look. So cute. So cute. Love it. Now. No sex kitten face is what I'm trying to do. Okay, you know what? Don't think the negative. Think the positive. That's well, that's that's funny coming from this show. Okay. That's great. Okay, let's be, yeah, let's all be positive, all of us here. Everybody, everybody. Yeah, positivity. Okay. Can they get my claws? Can they get my claws? Really do think that I'm going to have a good photo this time. Oh, my God. Damn crap. She's like, I think I'm going to have a good photo, even though I'm a damn crab. <laughs> I love her. She's so funny. So if anything, that one should be higher. Take this claw higher and this one down. Okay. Ooh, okay. Here's your Ooh, this is a pretty look. She's holding a vase. If that were me, you know that vase has like lemonade in it. You know, I'm taking a couple of sips in between the photo shoot. Mm hmm Wow. Okay, that's definitely a real cool look. Dive with those arms, Kitty. Dive with those arms like you're like you're diving into the water. You've These are really cool looks, actually. I take you know, at first when I saw the laundry, I was like, oh, you know, but all the looks, they're really interesting and really cool. I would love to shoot something like this. I just need an entire team and a production assistant and all that, and the stylist and the makeup and the hair and all that. It's, but other than that, like I could I could do it. I could totally do it. UV struggled a lot in the harness today. A little insecure about her whole overall pose. 
You just, just try different things, but as long as yeah. you keep that kind of fishy motion with the hands together. She had a really hard time really grasping the shape that we wanted to be Because she was literally wrapped up in a fish net. So, I mean... See, like, comments like that where they say, like, oh, she's insecure about her posing, but she's literally wrapped up from the waist down. So what do you guys want her to do? You know, it's kind of, it, you just have to be realistic about what you're giving the models if you want to criticize them for not getting a certain pose down or not doing, like, the best job. How is their environment? How are they comfortable in their outfit? You know what I mean? It's just stuff like that that contributes to a good photo and so a lot of the time they give like these unrealistic uh expectations like they literally wrapped like up her legs and her body and stuff but then they were like picking at the fact that she couldn't like pose well in the harness you just have to look at the reality of the situation are you giving the model enough leeway in order for them to get the best pose you know think of dance You're not going anywhere. I just wish Brandy would take command of that harness and just kind of lash out, kind of like a scorpion would. Got it, baby. From what I saw, she's doing a great job. She's giving a lot of posing. But they, it's just not good enough. It's not good enough for these people. They just had a freaking collage of this girl doing like 20 amazing poses. And then they cut to like one of the judges. Yeah, she's not doing, she's not giving us what we want she's not being a scorpio god damn it you guys are never satisfied you guys are never happy i love the judging portion of this so let's skip on over to that see what they gotta say i love how tyra like it's not enough that she's the face of the show she's a judge she's the producer she also has to be doing all the photo shoots with the girls you know what i mean like it's a little it's a little much but whatever. it's just like kind of it's kind of weird but whatever include her in there too i'm really curious to see which photo is going to be the worst one in history i mean at this point it might as well be like a guy from production up there because from what i saw in the behind the scenes everything was looking pretty nice so who knows they might surprise us and show us an actually good picture and say it's the worst but i don't know so let's see Man, they ruined this with the lighting and the editing. It could have been so nice and it just looks like they got a Google Images Nebula stock and then they like cut her out of like a white background and stuck her on there. <laughs> they ruined it. It could have been so nice. Oh, yeah, whatever. Here's your best shot. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, great body, baby. These are just not even good. No posing, no nothing could save these pictures, to be honest with you. I mean, again, they just had the nicest setup, and then they, gi they give us this? This is what you guys came up with? And here is your best shot. I mean, you give her a bow and an arrow, and I mean, it's fine. I just, I'm very disappointed in the post-processing and the lighting of these images. I mean, whoever did the lighting and stuff needs to be, you need to fire them. I mean, sorry, but that's what I would mean. Not, maybe not fire them right away. You know what I mean? Let them get another job, maybe. But it's not lighting. It's been a very easy shoot to have gone Playboy. I don't see Playboy this week. No, mm -hmm. I see a model. Absolutely. Next we have Brandy. Hi, Brandy. Hi, Hi Brandy. Hello. Brandy's so sad. Oh no, I'm not sad. I just be concentrating like on the pictures. During the auditions, you came in there. You were so bubbly. You were so bright and happy. It's this great personality and it's what got you here. And what's going to send you home is the negative attitude. You take beautiful pictures. You had a photo shoot? It's not, not terrible. That bad. No, the camera. All. So they just confronted her in front of everybody and then they're like, well, you're going to be sent home because of your negative attitude. Like, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Starting start this off right. Okay. really loves you. And you had a photo shoot in the heavens. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's an okay pose. Again, I just can't get past the terrible lighting and 
I'm not gonna get past it. I'm not gonna get over it. Let's just keep this moving. Up next, we have Kaylin. So Kaylin, the photographer said that you were a very pretty girl, but one thing is that he noticed your lack of confidence right off the bat. I was just really upset about the shoot. And so some of the comments really hit hard on my heart. Oh, honey, get used to it. You also... Wow, that was... That was terrible, okay? She's, you know, saying something that's affecting her and he's like oh well just get over it i cannot believe that he said that and it takes a lot for her as a model to be vulnerable enough to even say like those feelings in that kind of setting and then he not even no hesitation just shut her down that that was ter that was terrible to just even watch i wonder how she felt just standing there so what, just because she's in this competition and she wants to be a model, she just has to get used to just people like shitting on her all day? Like, is that really the message that we're sending? That you just need to get used to it? You also had a shoot in the heavens, and here's your best shot. Wow. Gorgeous. Okay, so her picture, the pose isn't that great, but you know what? Given the situation, like she's on a harness and the whole thing, I, don't, I think the whole photo shoot was just destined to just not be good so i don't i mean when they said the worst photo in history i think they meant all of them because you know production didn't do a good job to be honest with you the models did the best they could the models could not have saved this with their posing to be honest with you okay you know production messed up it's on you guys not the models in my opinion it's gorgeous it's beautiful i like this because you're the timid girl and you look like you're and even the retouching look at this close-up i mean you guys are not doing yourself any favors i love how production's like let's do a zoom in of this uh beautiful photo like no i actually just made it worse <laughs> it, it looked better zoomed out to be honest with you um i don't like the retouching um there's like blotchiness in the skin right here and it looks like bad retouching and the overprocessed eyes I think they really thought they had something here. They're like, let's zoom in to show everybody how great this picture is. Like, no, y'all should have kept it zoomed out. Model did the best that she could. No, that's all I got to say. Christina? Well, your mouth is extraordinarily cramped as usual. All three of those shots, you're doing this. Yeah. Preparing for Botox injection just doesn't cut it. Is that what they do, Dennis? Sweetie, have you guys ever played tennis? Actually, fun fact, I was on the tennis team. Uh, four years I was on varsity actually and look the last thing I'm doing while playing tennis is like you know what I mean you think I'm sitting there posing maybe you guys maybe all you judges should be out here playing tennis and then let's see the picture you get well you know I'm a Libra uh, so I had to stop on this picture this is as good as it gets with this god-awful lighting and the you know the, like 99 cent background from the Dollar Tree I mean I don't there's only so much a model can do in a terrible like lighting setup in a like it just looks cheap this whole picture just looks cheap you know those barbies at the dollar store it, this looks like the packaging for it to be honest with you and that's that's the truth okay the judges want to go off on the models well look what you guys you guys think you did better you know you're always the one that's staring like bitch you know but this one is like so soft so pretty hi noel here's that Thing, that yeah. poodle that you had resting on top yeah. of your head. <laughs> that looks so much better. That's so yes. much better. That's gorgeous. It's a disastrous pictures. Think that you're not taking it seriously enough. Here's your best shot. You just don't lift a leg. My dog can do that. <laughs> oh my. Did they just bring a dog into the commentary? Okay, there were so many insults, I, I actually couldn't even keep up. I don't even, even remember all that they said, but it nothing, nothing good came out of their mouth for this one. Okay, let's brace ourselves. To me, you just don't look like you know what you're doing. Thanks, Noel. I love how she says, you don't look like you know what you're doing. As if hanging from the freaking ceiling on some wires in a baby swing harness looking like a straight up lion, lion from the Wizard of Oz is something that we, like everybody knows how to do. It's like a typical thing that we do every Sunday. Like what? Sis, if you're going to be given critiques, at least give constructive criticism. I notice a lot of these judges uh, say things like think and feel. Like, oh, you, I don't feel like 
you wanted to be here during the photo shoot and you don't look like you were very uh, confident in this picture. As if, th- as if that matters, okay? Th- if you don't like the picture, give constructive critique. Hey, I think your arm placement could have been better. Next time, maybe bend your elbow in a little bit more. Hey, I like the way that you were posing in this, but maybe next time, just bring your arm out a little bit. It's as simple as that. Really nothing to it. But then they're tossing out like these personal things left and right. Like, oh, you just, you're actually not really a lion. And here is your best shot. I think you did make... I mean, you guys made her into a crab, so I don't, what were you guys expecting? I don't know. This, first of all, this picture looks out of focus. Is it even in focus? I like your face. I think it's very mysterious. I think it's... Oh, okay. Here's your best shot. Well, you look like a dead fish here, but I have to see a close-up. And you... So this guy is over here saying she looks like a dead fish. Okay, like, how's that supposed to help her? I think she looks beautiful. Uh, the pose, you know, for what they gave her, I think she did the best that she could. You look like a dead fish in the pose too. The fishnet and everything, I felt blah. This is what you have to take on and wear when you dis- when you become a model. Yeah. And you, you failed miserably. And here's the thing, you guys. I understand this is a reality competition, but there is a line between constructive criticism and just being mean and a lot of the comments are just being mean i haven't heard one constructive comment so far and it's just very like i i don't know me i don't know it's just crazy that they can't give these girls any uh you know critique that will actually help them for the next photo shoot it's just kind of like well you did bad well, what are you guys there for? You're there to judge and to, you know, give feedback. Like the other guy, the one of the guys even, I can't believe that guy even said like, oh, my dog does that. Like, okay, then have your dog in the competition. Then let's see how your dog does. Like you can tell, like this girl's about to cry right now. I feel bad for her. Now we're going to look at your photo in the heavens. It's a pedestrian photograph. It just doesn't register model. Even though you're the virgin, you're the virgin that everybody wants. Right. So you have to be very sensual. Tara, when you walk strutting down the runway doing a Victoria's Secret wearing those bat wings, what are you thinking? I ain't thinking I'm no virgin. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most uncomfortable conversation. <laughs> what? Did I hear any critique in that? Not a single, not a single critique. Okay. First of all, I thought this picture was lovely. I mean, the lighting actually kind of suited this one. The nice backlight. I mean, I think her pose is lovely. I would have probably had her bend her arm just a little bit. But otherwise, I listen, I think this is the best photo yet that I've seen. And I have yet to see to see or hear which one's supposed to be the worst photo in history. I mean, they were all pretty terrible, but not because, again, not because of the models. Light production, y'all messed that one up. Production had the worst photo in history. <laughs> production had the worst production in history, <laughs> to be honest with you. Michelle, she looks like Jay Leno. And if Jay Leno looked like this, I'd be interested in Jay Leno. Kenya. Uh, this face is to die for. It's hard for Rebecca to take a bad picture, but it's not like great. UV. It just looks horrendous. She needs to be tuna tartare. You mean you could have served it better with a pound of sequins on your face? Darling, I have. This photo is one of the worst photos in the history of America's next time. Wait a second. They're trying to tell me that this photo was one of the worst photos in, in the history of the show. Okay, clearly I'm not the only one who needs an updated eye test, okay? Because did you have you guys seen this picture? It's not one of the worst. Honestly, it's not one of the worst. I saw literally a a million other terrible pictures throughout all of your last four seasons before this. And this is not the worst one. I feel like it's such an exaggeration for them to say this is the worst picture. If you guys are trying to say this is the worst picture, I mean, look what you guys put her in. Look at the background. Look at the lighting. You can't always blame the model for the picture being bad. Now, we have to think what were her other poses like because production is actually picking the final picture they could have picked something that was you purposely terrible like a ter- maybe they caught her midway like a, a shot that wasn't that great so they're kind of just setting up this narrative that oh this is the worst photo but at the same time 
Was it really? She is an insecure girl that has high self-esteem in the making. Christina. For me, this is one of the best pictures of the bunch. But I think it's really important. Really? In today's look. Really? They thought this was the best picture? Why does Tyra look like she's about to kill somebody? <laughs> she's like, last one, the judging. Okay, let's just do this. Let's finish. Okay. There are 12 of you that stand before me. Only one of them gets to win. We'll love him now. Let's just, huh? And one of you has only taken one good photo. Tonight, about your Pisces picture, I even said. So they just said only one of you has taken one good photo. But you only had like three photo shoots. So isn't it really that? It's not really that bad, you know? The ratio, it's not off that much. It's fine. <laughs> Tonight, about your Pisces picture, I even said that it's the worst photo in the history of America's next top model. <laughs> We're building suspense here. Great. The judges feel like one of you has a little bit more potential than the other. <gasps> really? Okay. Congratulations to you. <laughs> I could have sworn that they just said she had the worst photo in the history of the entire show. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Well, what can I say? We just watched a circus uh, for free. All right, see you guys.